They just know what the no, perception No, the police of the law be is. acting like they don't know the law. They know that no, shit. Sometimes no, they really don't no, be No, they really don't. A lot and that's of why they get in trouble. So many little fucking cops is dumb as rocks, bro. <laughs> For sure. You see all, all the like different ones in that go viral with one, it be this one pedestrian who gets pulled over and tell this nigga the law, mm-hmm. right? And he be like, oh, hold on, really? Like, and they be like throwing back that you know this shit because they don't know it? Yeah, they, or they mamas. Not, that's a going, fact. They not going to college for law. That's a fact. But it's over as soon as you call your supervisor. Mm-hmm. It's over. So, if you don't call your supervisor, you so was you in think, trouble. You think we, as a culture, take high speeds and we do all that? We take it over because, what, it's a lack of knowledge and niggas be panicking? Lack or, of license. Lack of license. Guns in the, license, car, in the car. Merchandise in the car. Smoking weed. You know, they... I mean, I don't, is it the in, same in, now? In, in, in tra- well, when they smell weed in the car, yeah, they, I think yep. they can still yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's just well, niggas well, cannot uh, smoke in the car with me. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> it's either weed or protection, nigga. What you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell niggas all the time, what you trying to do? Yeah, we not gonna do that. Yeah, man. Oh, mamas, you ready to you ready to not have no strap because you want to get high? <laughs> Lost your damn mind. Yeah. <laughs> You can smoke outside, nigga. We need strap. Yeah, for real. I put on cologne today, nigga. What are you talking about? I'm not trying to walk up in. Now I I was rolling with Sim the other day. We, you know, we we going to this to this little uh, spot out in Malibu. Mm -hmm. This nigga blowing a hole. I like. I got you know. I got me some good cologne on. Yeah. I'm about to you know chirp into and shit like that. This nigga done blown two. So you walking in smelling like straight nigga. Straight nigga. Like, come on, I'm trying to dance this perception. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nigga, I'm not high. Is that a turn off, little Kayla? I mean, I don't really smoke, so. Mm. Is it a turn off a nigga walk in and smell like straight nigga? Mm, no. Yeah, you don't go for it. That turned you on. Oh, this nigga got peas. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> he must be the plug. Exactly. <laughs> So it, don't, it don't really bother me because it's like that's that's all I knew growing up. Like everybody yeah. smokes, so it, yeah, it don't really sure. bother but, me. But stepping in, but on oh, oh, my end, stepping into like you know trying to get away from these stigmas. You know what I mean, of how they perceive us. Mm-hmm. You know, in general, like you know, I dress how I dress, whatever it may be. But I'm always looked at and designated as a rapper, right? Mm-hmm. So regardless of it, but now. But you can look like a rapper no matter what how you uh, dress at this point, because I I, I I be looking like how I look. I, I know. And, and every time I take a picture with somebody. The white people, oh my god, are you a rapper? Exactly, but that's like, what no, I'm, I'm a macker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, throw them no. off, say yeah. some shit. Yeah, but then it just adds on to that other layer if you come in smelling like a whole a gang of weed, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It makes them, and then you try to have an intellectual, you know, conversation with them, and they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And like, then you're, you're not, um, you know, you're not, you're not welcomed. You're not welcome. Now, I mean, and, we ain't welcome regardless. Exactly. No, yeah. no, no, we, we get No, we welcome. We get that. I see what you're yeah, saying. We, we a welcome. little bit. We welcome, you we, know, because cause we cool. Why they you feel be cool. like we welcome a little bit? I mean, because you got a trip. Half the people who welcome us, we making them money. So, of course, mm. they go welcome yeah, us. exactly. Yep. Oh, yeah. this little nigger can make us some money. Yep. Like, you get what I'm saying? And you saying? feel that way as a woman. Yeah, so. I mean, you just got to know how to play. You just got to know how to play the game. Oh, mama. yeah. Yeah, I, I know you uh you walking in them rooms now. Yeah. You understand me, little Kayla? Uh, give a round of applause for little Kayla being in the oh, building. Man. You understand yeah. me? This is Kelly Kickback. You understand me? You know I got my play partner, Jamal True Love, in this thing. Uh, special guest. You understand me? San Francisco's finest. You understand me? Bay Area's on. You feel me? The whole soil of her. The whole barrier behind her. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Little Kayla, man. You understand me? One more time. One more time, man. man. Yeah. yeah, how you feeling, girl? You just got signed. Record I still, label? I still record feel deal? regular though. You still feel you still just saying that, huh? I'm j- I'm just a regular person. How you still feel regular with bust down chain? You understand me? Hey, signing deals. This shit comes off. Mm. Ooh, Talk okay. your shit and say you not on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Like when I do shows, mm-hmm. I go home and lay down. I'm going to sleep. Oh my! Like, you get what I'm saying? I stay in the house every day. If I don't have nothing to do, I'm in the house laying down on my phone. And you know what? I think TV. I think that's what attracts a lot of people to you because you know you are organic into you know who you are. You're not trying to be something else <clears throat> and so forth. You know what I mean? It's not a a certain type of outfit you gotta wear in order yeah. to show up and do a show and and you know shit like that. And you relate, so people relate with you for sure. Sometimes I'll be feeling bad because. 
people think like on the outside looking in, they think I'm just like this lit ass person. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I barely even talk. Like I'm quiet. Like if I don't know you, mm -hmm. I really ain't gonna talk to you. Like or say too much to you. You think that's you being uh regular or humble or that's you being traumatized because you know. I don't know. know. I think I'm just like a little antisocial. Mm. Like I, I really don't like to talk to people. Like people be in the club. Like if I go out to the club, everybody just want to talk. And I just be like, I'm not in the mood to talk. Like, but I don't know how to tell them. Like, all right, I don't really feel like talking. Like, I just be. Mm -hmm. well, I realized something was wrong with me until I got to a certain level of my career, and people was asking me like, "What's wrong with me?" Because I walk in, and you know, from the environment we come from, if you don't know somebody, you don't speak to them. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know that nigga, so I'm exactly. keeping it lit. You feel me? But you know, the more you move around in the different environments you be in, you be like, damn, you kind of have to. You have to kind of adjust because it kind of come off like, damn, we like you, but do she like us? It's like a switch that I have. Like, mm -hmm. I turn little Kayla on mm -hmm. and I turn her off. Yeah. Like, you get know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when I'm in a studio at shows, like, I'm a, damn near like a whole different person. Like, yeah. versus when I'm just regular chilling with the team, with my friends, like, it's different. Where do you think the, uh, you know, the anti-socialness uh, comes from? I don't know. I've just always been in the house. Nah, yeah. you've been it's outside, cool. okay? Let I mean, I've been outside. Bush, when like, I was younger, like, <laughs> yeah, like, I used more. to fight <laughs> and stuff like that. But, like, as I got older and, like, got my own house and, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I just started staying in the house. I didn't did everything. When I was 15 years old, I'm getting booked for every club in the Bay Area. Me and my friends not even old enough to be in here. Yeah. I'm at school. I'm the most popular person in my school. People, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the most popular person in jail when I'm in there. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it's you like, like the damn, <laughs> you yeah. like motherfucking. But to me, it's still surprising to me. Like, damn, like, yeah. I'm really this person. Like, I never expected None of this. Like, when I first started rapping, mm -hmm. it was just, like, a little fun. We had a free studio. Mm -hmm. Throw the beat on. Me and my friends fighting. Diss these bitches real quick. And it start, like, I don't know. It just started happening. I didn't know what was going on. So, and you said you only 24. Mm -hmm. So, you only 24. And you done experienced all of this shit already. You done mm -hmm. damn near been a part of high-speed chases exactly. and all type of shit. So, <laughs> before, it's like, I'm just so born. Before like, 25. Like, when we just had a show in Vegas on Sunday and my friend came, but everybody was trying to come. Like, my family, friends, they like, they like, oh, we going to Vegas. So my one friend come, we get there. I go straight to sleep after the flight because mm -hmm. we don't got to be there till 1 in the morning. Mm -hmm. She like, if I would have knew you was going to be this dry, I would have never came. Like, I could have stayed home. I said, bitch, what you want to do, walk the strip? Right. I'm she might want to sell that shit. But I'm not. Know. She not that type of girl. But I'm. I'm. Look, like y'all wasn't born, out there. I'm I'm like, like, come on, let's I'm walk born. this strip. You like I about? call. Like somebody would come to my house. We would just. I sit there in silence. I don't turn the TV on or nothing like. So I'm. You don't think you traumatized on some hood shit, on some street shit? Um, I don't think it's that. So, so I that, think I'm just tired of not not tired of people, but I don't, like everybody don't deserve a conversation. That's a good point that, too. That's definitely that's definitely true. I think you know. Well, I mean, we we from the same place, Sunnydale Project. Just to, you know, let y'all know on some yeah. shit. Um, me me coming up, you know, I I, I was very anti antisocial as well. You know, being in the projects because you know you're kind of taught not to be so open. You know, to motherfuckers and vulnerable to motherfuckers. You you grow up with that. You know, that tough exterior and so forth so I can imagine you know these unknown traumas that you know that, that we have uh, that ultimately we have to bring we have to let go coming into an industry mm -hmm. and so forth such as you know being an, an artist being an actor and so forth and so on how do you think that uh, you know you, you're transitioning or have you transitioned yet to get outside of that mindset to be a little bit more vulnerable you know and, and stuff like that being in LA and being you know on, on your tour and stuff like that Honestly, I don't think I ever will. Like mm. I, 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 that's how I feel right now. Like I don't know. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm dry. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm, like this tour. Like I'm just thinking how I'm gonna make it. Mm -hmm. Like you get what I'm saying. Like I know everybody gonna want to party, party, party. I want to go to sleep. I want to cut the lights off. Mm -hmm. I want complete silence. I don't even want to hear no noise if it ain't coming from me or my phone. Yeah, I feel you. I'm like that too, motherfucker. Me. <clears throat> excited to party and shit I'll be like man but I I really realize I think uh, 
I don't like party and all that shit because growing up, going to hella house parties and exactly. shit, going to hella functions and all that shit gets shut, shut up. up man. Shut up, man. Exactly. That's why I was trying to tell you. Like, you think you might just be on that shit because you fake traumatized? Nah, Because I realize I I'm like traumatized. To everybody sometimes. be having a good time. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. And I be in the club, like, looking at everybody like, like, nah, I be saying like that. Uh, Cause I feel right. like when it get loud and everybody having fun, that triggers me. Like, yeah, I had tweeted happen, on Twitter bro. one time like, uh, sometime when I be in the club, I just be thinking like, if it go down in this bitch house, we all finna make it out that door. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> But I, when I do go party, like, I do have a good time. Like, I really don't be worried about too much because nine times out of ten when I am going to party, I got all my niggas with me. I got probably, like, one or two security guards with me. Mm -hmm. So, and then it's, like, half the time when I'm going out, it's a show or something. So, yeah. it's all about me. Everybody who come here come in to see me yeah, and show love you. to me. Yep. And a long, a, lot of, a long time I didn't go outside because I just felt like a lot of people didn't like me. I felt like niggas wanted to do something to me. Niggas wanted to rob me. Like So I didn't really go outside. But mm. when I start first started going outside, it was when we went to Patrick Brunch. Yep. I was the littest person at the fucking it, brunch. I had a ball. About this I had a mm -hmm. fucking blast. Like, I went to halftime for the first time. In Oakland. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. We went to Cry Baby. That was my yep. first time there. I had a fucking blast mm -hmm. all night. And I got so much love, it made me want to start going outside. Like, damn. Yep. Like, the love over You overcoming the, the trauma because you enjoy yourself so much. I yeah. had a fucking blast. And, yeah. and, like, what, you know, where we come from, how, you know, Kayla, you know, came up around, you know, around niggas, you know, and shit like that. Like, uh -huh. you know, I know being from San Diego and like San Diego niggas, like, typically, see, we, we talked about this. See, I we, think niggas in general. We talking our language too much, though. For the people that's not familiar <laughs> with okay. the Bay Area, and especially San Francisco. San Francisco is a city, you know, most people view as... Um, you know, you see the bridge, you Pier see 39. the tech shit, you the know scenic. what I'm saying? The scenery, the scenery, the yeah, nice the scenery, part. The nice but part. a lot of people um, that's not even from Northern California, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand San Francisco got a lot of projects and it's really spicy. And we got the biggest project in San Francisco. We, we got the biggest project Sunny in, Northern, mm -hmm. in Northern California and we got 26 projects in the city in general. See, and I, I got grown and I started realizing that. I didn't, because I, I only went from Oakland to Antioch. I never crossed the See, bridge. See, I never left either shit. because you got a trip. Our school is right up the street. Uh -huh. We just got to walk two blocks. You feel mm -hmm. me? We got our corner store. We got a studio. We got an exercise room. We got a computer room. We got fucking meet, a room for meetings. Like, we, we really didn't have to go nowhere. We got the Boys and Girls Club. We had Gaza. It yeah. was like a girls group. They taking us on field trips. We mm -hmm. didn't really need to go nowhere. Yeah, I got grown to realize people in San Francisco feel how, like, people in Oakland feel like. People in Oakland feel like they don't got to leave Oakland. Like, nigga, I'm from the town. I don't got to go nowhere. We got everything. Well, I start crossing that bridge. I'm like, shit, Third Third Street, like, E-14. I'm uh -huh. like, oh, shit. <laughs> yes. These niggas getting money. They don't yeah. need nothing. Like, they don't got to really cross the bridge. But so I'm see, like, see, damn. Uh, uh, Oakland, Oakland as a community kind of, you know, traveled within Oakland. San Francisco as a community, right? you know you travel within only your area mm -hmm. or where you're from so like what she was saying like you know Sunnydale if you're from Sunnydale you're typically not going to Hunters Point you're not we, going to Lakeview we, off not even saying yeah, really? you know, it's like to, to a point we couldn't go yeah you can go like and, uh, and I remember going to the Going to the regular San Francisco is like you you don't even feel comfortable going there because you 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 know you, you walk and then you instantly looked at as a criminal you instantly looked at as somebody that's up to no good so you being stopped by the police mm -hmm. you know all of these different things and back to what we were talking about not having a license uh -huh. you go ahead and go try to go to that mall downtown you gonna get yanked over mm -hmm. you know what I mean now wow. your car gets so it's really segregated it is very much it's San Francisco. like I went to Juvenile Hall one time and um. Like, you know, every time you went to Juvenile, they put you in a program. Mm -hmm. So they put yeah. us in an ERC program on Third Street. We told them, me and my cousin, we told them we cannot go to this program. Mm -hmm. They was like, no, nah, it's safe. They pick you up from school, take you to the program, drop you off at home, blah, blah, blah. We still telling them, like, right, we don't really feel comfortable at this program. But it's either you go to the program or you go to jail. Oh, you feel me? So we went to, we didn't even last the week at the program. We go to the program. They picking us up, feel me, program. Boom, one day, two bitches that we beefing with come into the program. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The gate supposed to be locked, all type of shit. 
feel me? I don't know how they got in. So me and my cousin, we know it's about to go down, uh -huh. but it didn't go down. So we calling all our people. When I tell you, nobody answered the phone. <laughs> like Damn. not, we calling our mamas, aunties, friends, sisters, cousins. Nobody's picking up the phone. Yeah, they partying and shit. It's a Friday. Yeah, San Francisco so we, whole different game. We sitting there. Next thing you know, we here. It's them bitches running up the stairs, kick the gate down, beat our ass, like sent us to the hospital. Damn. Like, and then we like, we told y'all, we damn near could have sued them for real, cause like we told y'all mm -hmm. we couldn't go there, and y'all still sent us there. That like that's the other side. Like we, I don't even know how half the beef started with these bitches, but it's like. <sighs> Our niggas beefing with they hood, fuck it. We beefing with the bitches, like. Oh, so that's how that worked. Mm -hmm. Cause I was gonna ask you, how do women find they ops? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck y'all like, fucking it, over? It, like, it, it just bitch, you can't get shit. your hair done over here. Yeah. We fucking. And then like, it's like what? the schools was segregated. Like, yeah. Viz is like a Sunnydale school, uh, but Bible. Tower people come into the school too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then we got MLK. That's and for the where people, people that's from not the familiar. Point. The Towers is another project. So is that a project? Right? It's, it's right across the street yeah. from us. Yeah, and block, we beefing. A block away from from uh, Sunnydale. Yeah, I was. I, well, that's one thing I learned about uh, even growing up in Antioch, bro. I didn't realize San Francisco motherfuckers, because there's a lot of people uh, transition from everywhere in the Bay Area mm -hmm. to Antioch, and then it was motherfuckers from the Towers and this motherfucker from. And I don't even know why these niggas be See, because we not from San Francisco. To Antioch, they yeah. had a little bit of money. Yeah, no, them yeah. niggas on Section Eight. Them yeah, niggas had. <laughs> They had a big ass house and it was empty. Oh, mom, nah. Yeah. I know some people though that that they got that check and yeah. they mamas got the little house and uh, you know they putting them in the schools. It matters. Out there it matters. What, trying to get them away from the shit. Yeah. And then you got everybody else thinking the same thing. Like I'm trying to get my kid away from the shit. And they all end up at the same place. Exactly. That's why it was. That's why it was bad. But I didn't. I knew about uh, that type of shit being in Antioch because I didn't even know. I don't know no San Francisco funk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, nigga, we know Oakland. And so we looking at the San Francisco people. Like, what the fuck? These niggas mad at Y'all supposed to be from San Francisco. I know all y'all supposed to be cool type yeah. shit. Yeah. But it's niggas from different projects in one city. And they didn't even know they was. So they funking out the way. I'm like, this shit. I don't get the San Francisco shit. Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of people, you know, because of the perception of San Francisco, if you don't know San Francisco, I actually, like, really, you know, been in San Francisco like that. See, I go to Oakland to get away with being black. Right, but mm -hmm. if you black coming to San Francisco, you're not going to the projects. But that's where yeah. black people is. So when you go to San Francisco, you going to the same places that we trying to trying to go to and get away from, you know, um, you know, but try to get away with going out without being pulled over or being spotted by somebody else. You know what I mean, from you know, a op or something like that, because we looking at ourselves the same way as the po police looking at us. So if I'm out and I see somebody else black in San Francisco, this nigga is from another hood yeah, if yeah, I don't know him. You know yeah. what I mean? Do I got problems with this nigga? You know, and shit like that. So you instantly pinged out, you know, as a potential suspect. And we do it even to ourselves, you know, because San Francisco, I feel like everybody is, everybody is funking with somebody that is lined with somebody else that may, you know, phone pimp you. Exactly. And shit like that. And that's why a lot of times, like, why, why Kelly was saying, she just started getting out because her mind said, like, I'm not about to be outside. No, nah, I mean, somebody phone pimp me or something like that. Because, like, if, if you in the streets and you're in some shit and you get that call that this motherfucker is out over here at this club, then you pulling up and you waiting outside and you gonna get on something. Mm -hmm. Now, compared to like, you know, being at, being like in the town, it's kind of like blended in a little bit more. It's not so, you know, uh, stand out like, And you the know, people that don't at. understand this city and town shit, San Francisco is the city. Yeah. <laughs> Oakland is the town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we be talking about this shit like everybody know and people really don't be knowing, bro. Like, yeah. Bro, this like, shit when Great. I was in the studio, I was in there with uh, Fat Trail from Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and I'm just talking, like, just how I regularly talk, and he, like, kept stopping me, like, what that mean? What that mean? Like, what? And I'm like, oh, that mean... And it's like, damn, yeah. like, we really talk different than other people, like, to the point they really don't understand but what we're But people don't saying. know what the fuck we be talking about. I had, to, I, had to start change, I had to start changing my vocabulary when I'm telling my jokes because my joke is funny, but <laughs> they don't, they know don't catch it saying. because <laughs> I'm saying a nigga Boosie. Yeah, exactly. And they not laughing in certain <laughs> cities because they like, nigga like, Boosie. Is he talking about Boosie? Lil yeah, Boosie. Lil Boosie. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, that's a big <laughs> word. I realize we got big words where yeah. nobody else say. Feel me, cat and all type of shit. Where it's mm -hmm. like, bro, people don't know what we talking about, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah that'd be crazy. Just like, damn, we got our own little. 
But everybody else do yeah. too. Like yeah. every other state, For like sure. they probably got some shit that they say, and we don't. We'd be like, what the fuck is he talking and, about? But I feel like that's why the whole I feel like that's why the whole Bay Area really rooting for you and everybody behind you because you really like one of the few female artists to really represent our culture that we relate to. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like I feel like all these other cities got these major artists that we can we understand their culture because they made it out. So right. like Detroit got a cash doll, you feel me? These other cities, Atlanta, what's the uh, mulatto or yeah, mm-hmm. lotto. you feel me? Lotto, like Big lotto. they be having females making the stallion but that see, represent their culture. Is, yeah. Like yeah. I really come from the projects. I got my whole hood behind me. If, yep. if nobody else behind me, well, my hood, my yeah. niggas, they coming. Yeah. Shows and they're supporting. You feel me? A lot of bitches don't got that. They rap this hood shit and all this and all that. Right. Mm-hmm. They don't got that for real. Facts. They don't got no big homies. They don't got niggas in jail calling their phone. Yeah. They don't we have, have mutual yeah. friends, little Kayla. Yeah. I don't have no mutual friends with these other bitches. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying though, like you know, like, I don't know who I they know like in the bank, but different. I guess fuck it. Like I, I, and, and, she, and, she, and she right, like you know, even like in, in hip hop. For, for the females and for obviously a lot of males you know what I mean you know jumping into you know r- rapping and stuff like that don't truly come from the essence of you know poverty you know what I mean and growing up actually having a gun at the age of 12 yeah. you know what I mean you know uh, um just, just to be cool, right? Yeah. But, uh, but ultimately knowing that you might have to end up using this motherfucker, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or being subjected, you know, subjected to having to sell drugs because your parents don't crack, you know, shit like that. But I feel like in them other cities and states, that I feel like they be, you know, they make it, not make it out, but you know, they get behind it more because I feel like the Bay Area is so diverse, where it's like, you know, it's so many people that grew up in the Bay Area, but everybody got. I didn't realize it was so many different type of Bay Areas, meaning like yeah. you. I don't want to explain what just saying somebody. I feel like name, I know what you're like, saying. It's like you got the skateboarders. For you, instance, you got, you got the, the Kalani's. Kids. You got the you got the hers. Like all of them, they they from the Bay. The you feel I me? Mean, I, I don't really want to get into that because that's why I don't be want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to say the wrong thing too because I love everybody. I mean, I do <laughs> too. But if we gonna really break this shit down, oh, man, we on the what are y'all kickback. doing we for us? Talk about it. What are y'all doing for the Bay that, Area? One hundred percent. Because me, I know my I know my goal for the Bay Area. And it's mm-hmm. like at this point, if you is from the bay and you ain't you ain't backing me, it's like you hating at this point. Cause yep. it's like I agree. everything I done did from fifteen till now, it's like a nigga gotta respect it. Like, damn, she doing her thing. Yeah. Like I done had niggas that I really genuinely thought didn't like me. Like I got them blocked on social media and hella shit just cause I don't you feel me? They came up to uh-huh. me at shows and shit, like I gotta give you your props right now. You doing your shit. Yeah. Keep going, like yeah. shit like that. And they make me feel like, okay. Yeah. Cause like, like from my lens is you don't only feel Female artists that we didn't literally seen grow, like yeah. for the most part, you know, like um, I'm gonna just be honest. Out of the Bay Area, when it comes to like artists, like I discover a lot of uh, a lot of people like oh I didn't even know they was from the Bay or right. like I seen them on TV first, yeah. and it's like you the only artist where I'm literally like we didn't see you've been popping in the Bay for like seven years now, like yeah. legit popping everybody fuck with her type shit, you know, and it's like. You still growing and you growing and you growing each year, and I think that's why um, I feel like your support is different from anybody else because it's like we really watch you grow. You feel me? Facts. Uh-huh. And yeah, and, uh, and a lot of a lot of artists like credit to what you know Kelly was saying is like you know in the Bay, and, and I noticed this as well. It's like you know as much as we're, we're independent and we act like you know we are our own support system. Um, it feels to you know people that's up and coming and doing their thing. It's not because you don't have like these these pillars or these people who have heavy influence to even you know if it, it might just be a, a Instagram post or it might be a picture mm-hmm. or it might be an introduction. Not necessarily <clears throat> happening. You know, getting behind you know the young up and coming mm-hmm. and people that you know. So it's like you know we we be feeling like motherfuckers is bottling you know their celebrity mm-hmm. you know for them to stay as this in fear that you might either surpass them or and. Not 
not want to contribute to exactly. somebody else's success. Mm. And then that's when it comes down to what you were saying about, you know, this um, these different Bay Areas, right? Because yeah. you have motherfuckers who feel like they are from this part of the Bay, whether it's, you know, Vallejo, Oakland, Richmond, San Francisco, we San segregated. Jose. Yeah. You know, we kind of segregated in general. But now when it comes down to it, the Bay Area is the Bay Area within these seven counties in yeah. general. In order for us to, uh, uh, you know, compete in, in, in a in the entertainment market, we have to be together because we're yeah. going up against exactly. Los Angeles as a county, as a county. that has all these cities, but exactly. then all these cities are they're supporting each other because they are this county, they are LA, they rep in LA, and, and, and LA goes so far sometimes they rep the West Coast, exactly they be like West Coast, yes, the 100%. Bay Area be like, no, I'm from the city, yeah. oh, from, oh it's like, bro, <laughs> yeah, Atlanta, half it's a lot of people that's from out of Atlanta that made out of Atlanta, they not even from Atlanta. You exactly. go to the city of Atlanta, they be like, it's really like six niggas really from Atlanta exactly. everybody else from the outskirts it, it, exactly but they the we outskirts. don't know but in order to identify exactly we don't know but then that's why I say you know like you know in the Bay you, we have our own you know kind of economy when it comes down to you know popularity and so forth right so mm -hmm. you'll have like a motherfucker that we look at as a star you know killing it doing a thing you know what I mean and then go somewhere else that motherfucker might not even know who this person is Facts. you know we our music for instance you go mm -hmm. to almost every club we always hear our, our music but a lot of that music is from 20 years ago, 15 years ago yeah. that we're still keeping live and they still making money on mm -hmm. it. Like right. I'm traveling state to state, mm -hmm. like Cleveland, Atlanta, hella states. Mm -hmm. And all I got to do is say, you never heard a song that make his pockets hurt. They be like, that's you. Yep. Like, yep. that's no way that's you. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, yeah, like that's my song. Like yeah. 11, 11, they playing my shit faithfully in Houston and yep. in Atlanta. For sure. They don't yep. even know who I am. I go out there, they wouldn't have a clue. Why and, Why is that? Why you think that happens? I don't know. Like, the music going up, but they don't know who I am. Like, I don't know I how they explain lot, it. I think a lot of it is, you know, platform, right, and um, platform-based and organization, you know, when it comes to, you know, who, who controls, you know, um, you know the, the, the social capital. Right. And that's typically, you know, social media, as much as we all have access to social media, social media. But who is really like, you know, the, the people on social media, the people with the millions of views. You know and I mean, the big influencers that can say, hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and like, I know I know this person, Lil Kayla on some shit. Let me go ahead and put Lil Kayla on this platform or segue Lil Kayla over to this relationship. Yeah, over yeah. Here I to make sure say. that we could break her her face. They know her music, but mm -hmm. break her face. Mm -hmm. into, you know, the you social think, media. Do you, you think know? sex is the reason why? Meaning sex, meaning, like, do you Milk think because you don't promote, you know, uh, shake your ass, you ain't naked, you ain't, I mean, you know but what I'm saying? Do she, some, she, she, I you be shaking that shit, but out. you don't be naked. I sometimes, but when I be naked, I mm -hmm. feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You feel like this is comfort for me. This how I that's like what the, I'm saying. Like you, you covered up me? today. I'm saying these female rappers, they never cover yeah, up. Yeah, see, no, yeah, I can't. She knows ass it. out all day, and I love yeah. it. But like, I swear to God, one time I had a birthday photo shoot, uh -huh. and I was like naked and stuff. Uh -huh. I turned 22. I was in the tub, all type of you know. It was cute to me. Uh -huh. I felt like he's about to go up. He's cute. Yeah. I posted it. Nobody from my hood reposted me and told me happy birthday. Why? So, Look, so when I go to the hood, they, what's up, Cal? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't fuck with y'all. Like, none of y'all posting me for my birthday. They like, nigga, we wasn't posting them pictures on our page. Yeah. Like, right, you get what I'm like, I can't, I got, like, I can't do it. I just, like, hearing every now and then, you know, I put on a little bra top, little shorts, little, you know, but I can't do that all the time. But you know what, mm. I think, I think. Uh, again, that's why a lot of people resonate with you. You know, when when I see you, you know, performing on stage, like when we was at Crybaby and you know these other places, you ain't been out for never on some shit, right? And then, but every all all these girls, even guys, you know, black, white, peppermint, stripe, LGBTQ, ING, I don't care what it was, they was all right there. They knew every word, yeah. right? And these is regular people, you know, that ain't, you know, you know. Pretending to get out and and spend hella money, you mm -hmm. know, and stuff like that. They they having a good time on some shit, you know what I mean? And they resonate. They resonate to the music. Yeah. They resonate to the energy. And that's why, you know, I. I I see, you know, you being able to go, you know, real far and be able to do something different for the Bay Area and, of course, for yourself as well, you know, uh, moving forward. Yeah, so. I just be, I be always passionate about, like, man, the Bay need, feel me, like, I, I be feeling like, uh, 
you know, the world haven't seen a lot of real authentic mm-hmm. bay females. You feel me? Like, nah, and then it's I, like, oh, I'm saying this for shit me, the it's world. like, I, I don't know how to nah, No, no listen, I'm about to back you up on that because it's like, Sometimes I, you don't gotta always pay me to perform. Like sometimes mm-hmm. I might just pop out one night mm-hmm. and they play my shit, give me the mic, yeah. and boom, I'm yep. turning the whole club up. That counts because I feel like I lose all my respect if I just blow up, move to the hills, and never come back and do nothing for my city. They gonna be like, "Damn, I thought you was or make it the just one." About money. You feel me? Yeah. Versus, boom, I blow up, boom, I got my big house, I got everything I want, and I'm still in the bay doing yeah. turkey drives, Christmas giveaways. Uh, yeah, you ain't. You always gonna be connected just, to shit like that. Yeah, yeah, just just yeah. showing my face sometimes, yeah. every yeah. now and then. Yeah. Showing like I'm really from here. I got my respect here. Yeah. This is where I grew up. Everybody knows me. It's not to a point where oh we ain't never seen little Kayla at the. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, y'all seen me. Y'all know me. <laughs> yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll never be you that did for me. In the bay. You did crimes in the You solidified. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> We need somebody from the bed to actually scan, so <laughs> some weed. Yeah. We need that person yeah. to make it. Yeah. Oh, I, I yeah. done made it through beefs, nigga, yeah. all types of shit. Know what I mean, moppings, <laughs> nigga, at motherfucking rolling louds and all types Man. of shit, nigga. What? Like, I you had know. niggas telling me, like, bitch, when I see you, I'm going to slap you. Yeah, like, you, you know been know through real bass shit. Yeah, yeah, like, so it just be You done like, fuck with niggas. That's the bass yeah, shit. Yeah, like. Females be fucking with niggas. Yeah, yeah, shit. Like, I, I had, a, I had a mouth on me. Like, I, I said whatever yeah. I wanted to say. Like, you feel me? And that, <laughs> now I, I, I police my mouth. Mm-hmm. I got to watch what I what Yeah, I've you got to be mindful of things you say. And that's why I feel like I'm kind of fucking up talking like, to your like, ass. No, you no, bring no. the real bass no, out listen, of me. No, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm talking about ain't like, nothing no real <laughs> <laughs> They bring up some shit on Twitter. And you know how we talk like bitches dressed like Mexicans and little shit like that. Like, uh-huh. they crucified me for that. Yeah. Because they on the outside looking in in different states and not knowing that's how we talk. Like, yeah. oh, that bitch dressed like a Mexican. Mexican, yeah, that's a but roast. that's not necess- necessarily a, a insult to the culture to the Mexicans. Yep. It's just like, bitch, you don't know how to dress, or you dress basic, or yeah. little shit like that. But yep. they crucified me for that, yep. and I like it. Took me a long time to like make amends with my Mexican fans because yeah, yeah. they was on me like yeah. to the point I was scared to get on social media because I didn't even want to see the shit. Don't fuck with the Mexican. I man. like, like I didn't want to see it, but when I got on there, it made me feel a little better because I did have. Like, a lot of people defending me and, like, nah, it mm-hmm. wasn't like that. Like, we united in the Bay. Like, yeah. Mexicans and black black. I'm like, nigga, have the my same. friends. They act like Mexican. Us. Like, yeah. Like, so it was like, I, I was like, damn. Like, they yeah, taking Mexicans it be at the, the wrong side way. So say it, nigga. Yeah, all exactly. Swing that shit, nigga. Yep. And nobody so like, tripping. They, they, they not so, knowing because they a lot of my fans are not from the Bay. You got to mm-hmm. trip. I got... Fans I'm, I'm everywhere. All so, over the well, world. So, and it's surprising to me. Like, yeah. damn, like how the fuck do y'all did y'all even find my music in the first place? For sure. You and when, and when Lewis say they act like us, he means they act Bay Area in general. No, I'm not saying, necessarily. No, they act like, black. They act black. They act girl. black. Like, all right, but listen to this. There's no necessarily acting black when you grow up a certain way, right? Same uh-huh. way how I mean, you yeah. said that. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the Asians and the uh, Latinos grow up with us and they use the word nigga. And we understand why they use the word nigga. But now the uh, uh, the the population of the world or the states will never understand exactly. that. So that's what I mean that they act I like us a... because they grew up with us. Yeah. You know, talking the same way in the same type of environments yep. and so forth and so on. So put it like this. I'm glad you said that too on this episode because I just had an episode I did with Keisha E. Shout out Keisha E. She from Detroit and uh, I was trying to explain the difference between like niggas and African Americans. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's like sometimes and you know, in California, I know in the Bay, like, it, you don't have to be black to be a nigga. Nope. It's it's some Samoan niggas. It's some yeah. Asian niggas. Like yeah. them niggas. Like it's yeah. legit. Like exactly. like we all dressed alike. Yeah. From Asians, Mexicans, <laughs> like Samoans. Everybody dressed alike. Yep. Everybody got bust downs. Yep. Everybody in the field. Everybody. Yeah. We all doing the same shit. Yep. So yeah, that's some real shit. Um, how how do you feel about uh the bad girls West? That thing that they uh, doing on Zeus Network. I don't even want to speak on that. Oh, you on some gangster <laughs> shit. I ain't even gonna speak uh, on it. Cause it's a lot. For well, real. So, so, but let's say let's uh, or let's ask this. Would you uh, do you ever see yourself potentially being on a Bad Girls West? No. No. Why okay, not? If not, why? Cause I be in jail. Okay. I don't play them little games that them bitches play. Do you think that this? You uh, just scared me doing that. <laughs> 
I don't play this game, <laughs> bitches play. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry for asking the question. <laughs> no, some real shit, though. That, like, I'm not about to be doing all that for no TV. Well, I'm, but, I'm too real for but that. But do, do you think like, that uh, a, a lot of your feelings on that stem from, you know, like your old beefs and stuff like that? Like of course. Like the stunner girl of and course. stuff like that. So but well. even then, first of all, no bitch about to talk to me crazy. Facts. But they let them got, choke them on the show. But I don't got time for no security and all that. You feel me? If we about to do it, we gonna do it. Fact. And we gonna oh, do it. And we way. not hanging out yeah. after the after yeah, we choking and like, fuck. Come on. Yeah. Oh my mama. I told well, her I'm not going to the club shit. after. I yeah. told her TV that. I'm, same I'm shit. ready oh, to call all my folks up yeah. here. We gonna really oh, get it going. Them niggas can't that's commercially phone. Right. So yeah, you can't, can't commercially phone. Yeah, I don't know how to play. I don't know how to play like that. Yeah, play like I don't. See, that's why I want you to be the biggest motherfucker out today. The world needs to hear this. Oh, for wow. real, commercial so, yeah, I can't, I can't get, do yeah. it. I can't do it. Hey, so, so an, an, another question, right? So I know we have. Um, I think before we started rolling, you had said that uh, you used to bip, right? <laughs> and for people don't know what bipping is, bipping, you know, in the bay is when you break into a motherfucker car and steal a shit. You know what I mean, but it's this little piece, this little object. You just pop. You know what I mean, and bust the window. They got bips on shin. I just tweeted that. <laughs> I was on there like getting She's me some She's still thinking about coming out of retirement. Yeah. I ordered me one. I'm going to keep it real. Just in case I ever need it. Like right, so one time the nigga pissed me off. I'm like, I'm going to come drop all your windows. Like you feel me? But I, I don't do none of that so, no more. So what, what, what I was going to say is like, you know, like, when you had said that, mm -hmm. one of my questions is going to be like, how do you feel about a nigga, you know, bipping as a hustle? Because I remember on one of your songs, you had said you want, you know, you want more of a pack selling nigga and not a bipper or some shit like no, that. No, I right? said I don't like scammers. Don't oh, you don't really like scammers. scammers? Oh, yeah, yeah, scammers. Mm. I mean, I fuck with the bippers because my LJ was a bipper. Like, that's the first Oakland nigga that I started fucking with and brought me to Oakland and got me familiar with Oakland. So it's like, first, I used to just sit in the car, like, you know, just, you know, how you just ride with your yeah. nigga. You just want to be with your nigga. Like, yeah. so I was just sit in the car. He do his little thing. We catch cash in, go get our money in. So when I start seeing it, I'm like, I'm in the mall, but you know, you can't go to the mall every day. Like, it's, yeah. you go, yo, they go start yeah, yeah, knowing. Yeah, yeah, so you feel me? You got to go try something else. Around. So when I start getting in the field and start, you getting laptops, you getting, I'm a rapper, I'm getting clean ass notebooks, backpacks. Like, it's not just necessarily the money. It's like, you getting hell. We had a thousand charges. You getting just, assets. Yeah, <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Niggas so, for assets. You can hit for money. You can hit for, nigga, you can hit for brand new Chanel coach. Well, you can purses. hit for a Bible. Like, man, I was looking yeah, for a like Bible. You man, can, you could Bible. come up on it's anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just never know what you could come up on just being in the field. Like, especially if you, like, I used to get up, I used to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You could like have had a job. job if you were that yeah. disciplined. You know what I'm saying? You it was, went it to the was post like office. a job. Like, I would get up at 5 in the morning and, and go in the field. The mall's not open till 9 o'clock. Uh -huh. You feel me? So, boom, hit the field for a minute. Nine o'clock, I'm parked at the mall. As soon as they open the door, we in there, out. Next mm -hmm. mall, in there, out. Closing, we doing it. Mall's closed, what, nine, ten o'clock? So you we ain't even eating so all day. So, you going all through the bay instead all of just day. being Yes, yeah. we driving all the way to so Tracy, Chico, like, Ooh. we Ooh. L.A. <laughs> Like yes, that, with the like, scamming. One the night, I, we made eighteen thousand out of this trip. We talking bipping? We talking bipping? No, I'm talking in the mall. Scamming. And bipping. Yeah. So you both going, of them. So you, you, you going got to so, because you can't keep going to the same spots. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? You gonna make it hot. So Back. you gotta, you gotta every now and then, you gotta get a different route. You so what I'm saying it. though, so when you talking about being in the field, you talking about sliding to the mall, scamming. No, I'm not scamming. No I'm scamming. running out. I'm filling up garbage bags okay, full so, of shit oh, and oh, running oh, out. Oh, so yeah. those are runners. Next level with this yeah, shit. Like yeah, like we walking in there with no so bags. They think we coming in there to shop. We pulling out garbage bags out our, feel me? And just you did that sober. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do you, no shit like that. I'll be too Your adrenaline is running. So yeah, once you, you hit that first store, 
it's like you go put your shit up because you ain't gonna be no room in the car to keep hitting more stores. Boom, go put your shit up somewhere, mm -hmm. hit another store. By the end of the day, you go see the Mexicans. Mm -hmm. They cashing you out for whatever you. The Mexicans gonna let you know exactly what they want mm -hmm. and exactly what Talk stores about, to go to. I want the to. Exactly. Right. I want the khakis. So some of the hits be easy because it's like you have big five hidden pillow khakis. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm saying Not Levi's, GLD. all type of shit. You yeah. will be surprised what the Mexicans want because mm -hmm. I don't even want to say what they doing with the shit because yeah, they still. Yeah. Doing it, but yeah. the Mexicans, they they be text they niggas still to this day when I see certain Mexicans, like when I be out, they be like, no work, no work. I'll be like, nah, I don't work no more. Like, you feel me? Like they used to be texting like when I first got out of the, out of that, they used to be texting like, Hey, can you get this? Can you get that? Like sending you pictures of the shit that they want. So yeah. you can go get like it and come yeah, sell yeah, it to yeah, them. For sure. They low key like niggas employers. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. Like for real. Exactly. And, and when we say Mexicans, because growing up, Mexicans always bought the stolen shit. Nigga, I done you know had one mean? of my buyers bail me city. out. What? Yes. Like, yeah. call him. See if he, uh, what? He didn't put up the money to bail me out. Just because he know I'm bringing the shit. Every day. Just imagine every day you coming yeah. and they cashing you out. Every day. That shit add up. I'm so, What's more I'm, paranoid, bipping? Bipping. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe you gotta. Uh, I, I would think you, that you gotta. You gotta bip because like bipping more paranoid. Now you gotta understand bipping. You outside. Yeah. You ducking in between cars. You got uh, what is it called? Like pedestrians, mm -hmm. like just out. They looking at you. Yeah. They calling the police on you. But motherfuckers like, be at the mall like too, though. But in the mall, it's in and out. Like when you running out the mall, shit. All yeah, they gonna emotion. do is just look. Yeah, in, yeah. in your emotion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just you just look. mobbing. Bipping, yeah. it's like... Yeah. It's got, like really hitting the house You got ski lit. mask on. You got gloves. And you don't get your fingerprints on nothing. You jumping in somebody's window. You get what I'm saying? You can't yeah. open the door. The alarm go go off. So you in the window. Like, it, it's, it's definitely more risky bipping than, than hitting a store. Yeah, and then a lot of times, motherfuckers that's bipping, they got somebody... The, the risk factor, somebody's in a car with a gun, right? And mm -hmm. we didn't see, you know, uh, a bip turn to homicide. I, I was just about to sure. say, I know, I mean, know people sure. that done got killed yeah. bipping. For sure. Uh, like, uh, for sure. Try, trying to, you know... That go, you know, that go back to the we were talking about with the high speed. And I was just about to exactly. say, I know people that died from high speeds, too, yep. from hitting. Yep, from hitting. Yeah. Like, yeah. I yeah. know at Something least like three people that done died from high speeds hitting. For sure. Well, we so we we so happy that you know you didn't turn the page in your in, in that life. Give you know a big round of applause for Kayla. <laughs> Little Kayla changing her life yeah. for the better. You know, for the better. But I'm still you know buying that? everything. <laughs> so if you come up on something, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hey, she, Look, I done bought purses on she, they she call. Now. You still supporting the community? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> That's hella funny. Uh, the whole baby yeah. want Lil' Kayla to make it hella big. Like, man, all the members go hella shit. But you know, you know another thing, I, and, I, and I gotta say this, right? You know, why <laughs> Bippin' turned into such a phenomenon in the Bay Area, right? Okay, like, and, my car's and, and, right and before now. you tell the story, I gotta update the oh, people one more time, Oh, that's your car up there with the broken window. Yes. Yeah, wait, he I'm got, like, cause he people, got bipped in the wait, Bay. Wait, I'm like, I got bipped in the Bay. It's already people with windows broke it's out just here. Bay like, I can't leave my shit in the car it's like this. All it takes is one second, I'm telling you. For sure. One second. But you know what? They, I I, I get the bipping. Millie, Millie, let me update the people. For the people that's not... Or just tuning in, or you probably you smoking a blunt or something, whatever. You done rolled up, <laughs> feel me, and came back. Bipping me when somebody breaking the car, they just bip your shit. Bop, break the window, all the shit, take the shit, and then bop. You don't even gotta have nothing shit. in your car. It's some shit where you pop the seat to go in a trunk. Mm -hmm. To see what's in the trunk. That's like, what happened to my that's car. That's what happened to your shit. And they bit, and they'll just bit the little window, mm -hmm. right? Which the little window that's costs all you the most need. money. That's all the you little need. window is back order. You can't get your window for four months. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm dealing with. That's what's outside right there. Because once you, I mean? if you see yeah. something in the trunk, that's when you break the and you go. And in. I, I think yeah. people but don't if it ain't nothing in there, boom, we on to the next car. Uh, because San Francisco and Oakland got a big. Uh, I would say San Francisco got a big tourist attraction, you there know what I'm go. saying? So why people started that shit and doing it because, you know, it'd be a lot of tourists coming out of town, leaving the airport, got hella stuff mm -hmm. in their trunk, hella stuff in their car and all that, laptops and all type of valuable things. And then people, feel me, the, the, you the, the your, locals. They stopping at coffee shops on their way to the airport, leaving all their luggage in the car with everything that they fucking and, own. And yeah. I will like, say, I know there's a lot of niggas in the Bay that we know that got rich 
I ain't gonna say super rich, hundred thousand dollars rich, right? Hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand dollars rich off of a bip, right? Yeah. And then they talk about it, and now they live in their life, and then it became almost an everyday hustle. Mm. Yeah, and, and crack is dead now, so you know it's it's hard to you know. Yeah, to, that's to really a, a bad thing. We not promoting this, and we're proud yeah, of, of you not. niggas, but at the same time, we just you know update this is a cultural conversation so, so, like, yeah th this is what i wanted to say right why bipping became so, such a phenomenon in the time that it has because when um uh, gavin newsom was mayor right he made breaking into cars like petty crimes that were felonies like receiving stolen property which was a felony mm -hmm. right breaking into a car which was a felony mm -hmm. he, they changed the, the law and had it minimized to a misdemeanor so that's why motherfuckers like shit. I could break into a car, or I could you know sell the stuff and, uh, and get arrested for it, and Bail ultimately right get out, out for yeah, it. Yeah, because that's right? why people stopped hitting what, house licks. And that's because house lick was to go to a high school, mm -hmm. and then I think they but changed the, the law felons. on it. Yes, like if you go in somebody's house, you damn near getting life. So people stopped hitting houses. Exactly, and niggas like all right, so we gonna hit a car. <laughs> and, 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 and that's why, and that's why every time you see on the news, it's mm -hmm. like San Francisco has a problem with people breaking into cars and mm -hmm. doing all this shit and stuff like and that. And Oakland, with, the Bay Area. This Point. Which, which we don't which uh, as much as you know it it's kind of like you know it's helping motherfuckers but then it's hurting motherfuckers too as a culture right it's, because it's we, we're not people. we're not getting a lot of no listen what i'm saying we're not getting a lot of time you know for which is good right you shouldn't be getting is that all, a good thing yeah you shouldn't you should have get sentenced three years for four years in prison for breaking into somebody's car you say that until your ass get big you like arrest these niggas these niggas no, got I me hot i feel like that now nigga you breaking into my car <laughs> <laughs> Well, nigga, you on the way to LA time. with no window now. Yeah. Because, like, nigga, get this no, nigga no, a year I, at least. Listen, I, was this point, I, was nigga, mad, I, mean, I was mad as a motherfucker, but you know what? I come from the streets. I come from hustling. So you understand. I don't come, but when I came up, you know, you was a petty car thief, you know, bringing in somebody's car, trying to take somebody's radio. Yeah. That was boosty as fuck, man. Yeah. You know, boosty you, is you, a bad word. Yeah. That, you <laughs> that mean lame. You, you wasn't respected, you know what I mean? Now, if you was, you know, robbing somebody's house, you know what I mean? Not necessarily like your neighbor house or shit like that, and you was coming up, you know, it's almost like, you know, taking from the rich, giving to the poor type shit. You know, if you were selling drugs, these were like the hustles. But now, you know, right now, a main hustle is breaking into people's cars because we done seen the outcome of somebody, you know, hitting, you know, for $250,000, you know what I mean, $100,000. Then motherfuckers like, damn, you could hit for that much by breaking into a car? Exactly. So a nigga a wake up at five o'clock in the morning, breaking into 25 cars throughout the day, mm -hmm. and they done made out of them 25 uh, uh, 25 cars that have made three bands. Yeah, hard day at work, right? I'm just saying. We need to stop. I mean, this but shit some days they be slow, and <laughs> some days be, some, some days, days be, slow. be that day. Like, <laughs> like we got the kids watching. I think we lead. <laughs> we misguiding the youth. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah, we not, we damn near mo. This by a little nigga watching this right now. You know, nah, I'm but see, hit. that's why. Lie. That's why I'm on a different. Like, I'm about to come out with a program that's like a mentoring program to. Mm, I want to yeah. help send kids to college and oh, shit like that. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be called life, living it from experience. Be ready because mm, I'm gonna need you. Yeah, and it's like basically that. gonna be like, okay, I done did this before. Yeah. I done been to jail. Yeah. A nigga done played me before. I done fell out with my friend before. Like, you oh, get what I'm saying? Just yeah. to let them know, like, what you going through is 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 oh, small. My is you get what I'm oh, saying? Mama's. Like, you you need to. We need more doctors. We need more. We don't need no more bippers. We don't need no more rappers. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We you don't. get what I'm saying? We need. Like, they was just saying, like, if, if everybody got BBLs and everybody want to be bottle girls, everybody, who who going to be the nurses? Right. Who, who going to be who gonna be the dental assistants? Who going to be, we need that. Facts. And you know what? Uh, I, I'm glad that you had said that. Like, so my boy, uh, kind of goes global. He's dropping, you know, ghetto therapy, right? That go. So kind of like, you know, be, shout out kind of goes global, Yeah, man. shout out my player you know, partner, man. Um, you know, ghetto therapy is being able to break down and be able to talk to, you know, ourselves about these traumas that led us to, you know, making all these other decisions that, you know, we are hyperly known for. And typically it falls into crime it, it, uh, as in prostitution, selling drugs, killing, you know, all of these different things, which, you know, I tell people when I when I was raised inside of my house, I was taught everything good. Yeah, Everything I learned well, you know, mm -hmm. bad yeah. was me stepping out on my porch. Exactly. Inside of my Going community. to school Facts. and seeing yeah. other people do and, it. And, my pops and told me I love what Kayla do, though. right? You my know, mama did a good a job. My pops a cat. I love what Kayla do. What a lot of people don't do. She saw herself going to church. 
Yeah. Y'all go to church every she Sunday. She go to church, you yeah. know what I mean? But well, you got to understand, there's a lot of criminals in church, and they kind of cover I'm, it up on the church. Because you go to church don't mean you're a good person. No, no, no. It, it but, is helping me be a good person because not only do I go to church every Sunday, I am, like, y'all need to come to church, but yeah, I invite I people to you. church because my church, I don't know how to explain it, but my church is is not that kind of church. And I be to myself, like, when I bring people to church, sometimes I do be embarrassed, like, damn, like, they smell like weed or they ain't dressed properly mm. or you know what I'm saying but again you gotta think at least they coming yep. do you wanna clean them up do you want them to know God do you wanna like or mama. do you want them on the streets and oh, you feel me like you can't like when you go to church like you can't have mean people in the church because it's gonna make them not wanna come back exactly you, yeah, you gotta I'm make saying? it feel like a like second my home. church support me 100% with my rap career like they don't try to change me they let me be me so it'd be, it'd be the whole church 11 11 send me them niggas I mean, rats. no, but, but <laughs> I the mean. The preacher like, yeah, man, we got a little Kelly in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Come on, 11-11, like sit up niggas with them rats. No, but she do be wanting me to come up with, like, gospel raps to perform yeah. with the youth choir and stuff like that. You can sing Make Them Pockets. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 come on, for real, I don't play with God. But for real. But, you know, like, 11, 11, I'm just saying, though, like. That's what I'm saying. That's the same way. I'm just saying, though, like, exactly. that, that, like, do you that's want the, the youth or you got trip most of these churches mm -hmm. they don't have no youth because they running them all most of these are like my granny church it's all old people mm -hmm. and you know how them type of churches be yeah they yeah. standing you, on it you do on comedy mamas. you know but you know in, but in churches need you to... i want a church where it's like i could go to church and i feel like i'm at the club because it's so lit that's the music that's how my church yes. is the 11, music, 11, you need to make your own you. church 11, and name 11. it 11 11. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that church is going crazy yeah, yeah. the 11 11 church yeah Oh my yeah, yeah. And like you said, you get a little concert. But see, I got a, I got oh, an idea welcome. as to where oh, angels I want to do, I wanna do like a youth <laughs> night Red where wild. I just go out to the bay, go to all the churches, get all the youth. We rehearse a couple songs mm -hmm. and we just go like stomp. That's a lit church song. Mm -hmm. We could turn it up. Like, yeah. you get what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, like, exactly. and just have a church night to where we can, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I'm telling exactly. you, I'm a slide. I'm gonna perform tiptoe and everything. That thing. Uh, huh. So yeah, it's just it, it's definitely helping me become a better person. Yeah. Like, and, and Kayla really, life. Dude, Kayla really talk. You know, do what she talk about. You know, I just ran into Kayla the other day <laughs> at uh, Chicken and Waffles in Oakland. She had a whole gang of like eight kids. <laughs> talk to the mic. <laughs> she had like a whole gang of eight kids. I'm like, hold on, Kayla, yeah. what you doing? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Auntie Kayla. You know what I mean? She's like, man, chilling. I just got the kids out. You know, I'm about to take them to the movies, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. And I was like, damn, you know, I didn't even want to talk about business or nothing. Yeah. I just wanted to like kind of admire, you know, what you was doing in, in, in your moment of your organic, yeah. you know, day-to-day -day process mm -hmm. in general. You I think know? you can't feel when you're organic. You can yeah. never let people down if you're just being organic. You understand me? Because it's like you're not. That's why you feel the way you feel. Where it's like yeah. I just feel like I'm me because it's like that's all you got to do is be you. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to the point where you know what I'm saying it's certain things where you know people portraying themselves as like they're you and they're really not you. It's just like that's just the artist version. Like even like in the Bay, like I didn't met some people like just because I like how they rap and be like, damn, like she tight. And I get with them. They can't even buy themselves a cheeseburger. And I'd be like, well, you just. You was rapping about, like... Yeah, so that's another thing. You know what I'm thing. saying? So I just be like, you really just have to be yourself. You can't fake it because when you fake it, everything done in the dark comes to the light. Yep. It's eventually going to come out like, damn, you be rapping like that and you... But you know what? There is a sure. such thing called fake it till you make it. Now yep. I mean, no, I it but it's not for everybody, right? Yeah, it's not for and everybody. And credit to what you're what you saying, like, when you come from a certain place, like, you know, like I was telling Lou earlier, when I when growing up in Sunnydale, you know, we called ourselves the know you because we had a heavy uh, New Orleans influence, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, with cash money and stuff like that. So we mimicked almost everything that they they did because that's how we identified. And it's like, okay, if we if we do exactly what they did, right, because this is who we are, then we could be able to get that spotlight as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what developed our projects into being like one of the most notorious projects mm -hmm. in California in general because 
they had choppers, we got choppers. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they, they wore them, we wore them too. Yeah. And it kind of created this, you know, this That's funk even within our project. Of. They got you know choppers, I mean? we got choppers. Yeah. But it's like, For even real. like, you got the niggas and then you got the bitches. Like, yep. our, we got a big ass For project. Uh-huh. So we got, like, we call ourselves the Smoles, right? Mm-hmm. So we got the older Smoles, the grown bitches, and they fighting the grown bitches. Yep. And then you got us, the teenagers, we fighting the teenagers. And then we got a baby squad that's yep. fighting the and- baby bitches like you feel me so and, just know, imagine if we like all that. out together exactly. it's oh my God. going down we're like, gonna be terrified exactly and, and we used to mob like so that back exactly it's the like, granny we, the mama we, and we the grandbaby yeah children. we on the bus 50 deep to the movies that's how you we, better not let us catch nobody by themselves. And, that, and that's how or we used to do, I, too. if we outnumbering them, we beating ass. Oh, my God. We like, used to mob together like that, too. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like our projects, like, even in San Francisco, you it used to be prideful to... You know, you be private to be where you're from, right? Mm-hmm. Before yeah, I heard somebody in San Francisco roast a person from San Francisco because they grew up in the house. Like, oh, that nigga square, he had a house. I'm like, God damn. You, cause you know, Oakland see, is not, like you know, you got a few projects. Well, it ain't like the whole, like, well, most people. We got, people, we got you know hoods too, though, that got houses. Like, you know, a yeah. lot of the hoods in Filmo, yeah. you know, is, is houses, not yeah. projects. Though Filmo got projects as well. Yep. But Lakeview, Lakeview ain't got projects. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? House. They got houses uh-huh. on some shit, you know, so it doesn't, you know. But I but think that's why y'all related to the block. New Orleans yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Because of the projects. Exactly. We see people from the projects. Y'all relate. Projects, projects. Projects relate to other projects. Yeah, no, all around the world, a project is a project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? But but also the 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 funny thing about it, like project living is totally different than hood living. The person that lives in a project doesn't have the same mindset as somebody living in the. And hood. that's what I learned because I never lived in a project. So me being in the project, I'm like, oh, I can't imagine fucking with this. This oh, too much. It's it's a little. It's, it's too many motherfuckers just right in like a it's hell. A little, no. It's a little bit. That's why New York tripped me out too. Like it's a seeing. In buildings, I'm like, so all these niggas is in this building. Imagine this. Ima- imagine, Damn, no, imagine man. it being like, you I know, be- in Sunnydale, we have, you know, we have our, we have like a, um, we have an H, right? We have two streets coming down, really about three streets, but let's call it, you know, uh, uh, two streets coming down with Blythdale and Sunnydale going down. Then we got Santos, the borderline, right? Now, every, yeah, of course, but connects. I'm just talking about the H. The, 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 the H. Mm-hmm. Now, in between these, you know, in between these buildings, which is old military buildings, all mm-hmm. cement. Mm-hmm. There's no police. There's no safety a- a- at all. Now, growing up in that, like mm-hmm. it, it breeds crime. It breeds, you know. Um, yeah, it was a project. And then it's like, wanted you niggas to kill each other. People in the hood, right? What houses? You know, it's a little bit different because you have these streets. Police have access to these streets and stuff like that. So you know, you gotta. It ain't too much that you could get away with, you know. But within these buildings, every the only people that's within these buildings is the people that's living in these projects, mm-hmm. and that's why you know. Murders going soft. That's why motherfuckers get played. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. all types of shit within yeah. these buildings in the projects. And yeah. that's what makes the projects that much more, you know. Like, see, when we was wow. beefing, like, we from the same hood, but we from two different, like, I'm from yeah, down the street. He from all the way, yeah. like, you know what I'm uh, saying? It'll uh-huh. take me five minutes to walk from where I'm from to where he from. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just walking up the hill, Damn. just, you feel me? But it's like, when we was beefing, we and every bitch said, we sliding. We finding our grown bitches got cars. They taking us to fight. But a bitch would never come to our projects. Like, so they would never come to our projects. This is my thing. I'm trying to figure out. Well, what the internet, just the back internet, arguing on the, the internet, internet. Facebook, internet. MySpace, and Bef- So how could it start? Like, example, right? Like, are you funky with this girl for All what? it take is one person to fight. Yeah. Uh huh. And boom, you fought my sister. So when I see you, I'm fighting you too. Do you think women? Uh, cause I I know um, you know, it's been female rappers, but you know, I feel like the female rappers kind of running the game right now. Mm-hmm. Like the ladies is going yep. crazy. Shout Gorilla, out to all, the all of them. They, it's hella female rappers going crazy, right? And a lot of females is talking about uh, you got a lot of females that's popping their little sexy shit, the sex talk. But you got a lot of women that's really popping like some gangster shit too. And I think that's influencing. It's gonna influence like a young generation of girls. But it's like girls that's, that's true. Gonna be more with the shit, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think um, moving forward, do you see women shooting each other and killing each other like I how mean, men do? Look at Remy Ma. But that's 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 one person. We're not one talking about an era. Long time ago. We got, I, mean, I feel like women. I can't really speak for everybody because I don't know everybody personally to mm-hmm. know how they really move. Mm-hmm. Like, it be people surprised that I be having my shit with me. Like, mm-hmm. oh, like you, 
Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I gotta keep this with me. Like you feel me? Like yeah. so it be people like you get what I'm saying? I be like you don't got one. Yeah. Like you feel <laughs> right? me? Like I don't like you rap like you be having it. Like exactly. Where you oh, so at? some of them just so, really yeah, rapping. Yeah. So so that's another thing, right? Like playing both sides of the fence, right? Like credit to what you were saying. It's like you know you have some girls, you know, kind of like you know like yourself that really come from that shit and w w will really have a boot on her. You know what I mean? Oh, my Compared to a girl who talking that shit, but then once it come down to some shit, it's like, oh, I'm wildin'. I'm wildin', but you talking that shit, and this is what this shit leads to. Mm -hmm. You know what right. I mean? It ain't just talking that shit, popping that shit. Oh, now you want to be innocent. But I feel like compared that, to all the shit that you've been playing. I think that, gun, through, I think know, that gunplay like come about like even for guys, right? I feel like the gunplay come more about all right, you fake. You, on the under, you fake scared to fight. Mm -hmm. So now everybody just want to upstrap. Nobody want to chunk. At first, when we was growing up, at least but we chunk. But sometimes it be deeper straps. than that because it be like. Okay, if this nigga killed my brother, I gotta kill this nigga. Or For I sure. gotta kill somebody close to this nigga to make this nigga feel how we felt. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes it be some shit like that. Like, it just. But, but you feel, then, do you feel like women gonna be like, all right? Because mm -hmm. women still fight. No, because it's gonna keep going. Because once you. It's, it's back and forth. For so, sure. And and, 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 that, and this goes for a whole nother conversation, right? You know, like, I always. Me and, me and Gunner, we had talked this one time, right? I said this. This is the plain English of it, right? If. If you go, if a nigga killed your mans, for instance, right, and you believe that your mans went to heaven, do you mm. think that your mans up in heaven saying go kill that nigga? I know mm. I'm going to heaven. If somebody touched me, my niggas better paint the whole city red. Yeah, I'm but not you say kidding. that, but you say that, but you go to heaven. You not over there. You saying that? Paint as a the human whole right city now. red. Damn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but when you in heaven and you a god, what about the church people? You ain't got that. You're you not gonna have that. You can imagine. What about you're not gonna but they gonna do that, that anyway. Yeah, I, I understand <laughs> that. I understand church? that, but I mean, you know, at some point we have to, you know, start really talking about. I mean, solutions to these long term beefs, right? In these multiple. Yeah, that sounds moments. good. But I'm definitely on my stop the violence shit. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. I I wanted to a point where I can go and take all my niggas with me so they don't even have to be on the block. Like, it's to oh, the man. point where I could yeah. put all my niggas on. Oh, I'm to just, the point I'm they just... don't even have to worry if we in the hills For sure. with it. Like, yeah. they could just kick back, come to my house. Like, everybody come to my house. Like, type shit. Now, that's, that's what I wish I could. I mean, yeah. I won't. Yeah. And when I'm working to yeah, it. That's what we pushing for. Ultimately. It's like, I don't want my niggas on a block. Because if something happened to one of my niggas, yeah. I'm going to be hurt yeah. about yeah, I, it. Because I feel like saying? niggas been niggas. Exactly. I think yeah. niggas been niggas for a long time. I think I just see a lot of change with the women nowadays. Yeah, facts. Women is with the shit. Like... Women always been about that shit. Yeah, of Don't get it twisted. My grannies and all them had straps and, and <laughs> blow that motherfucker if for it came sure. down to it. Guaranteed. For sure. But what I'm saying is it wasn't my my granny and them wasn't listening to rap music too. Yeah. They'd be like, I wish a bitch would. You feel me? So it's like, all right, you got women that's kind of extra with the shit now because you got women that probably wasn't with the shit and yeah. they grow up around that shit. Influenced by some music, and then you got you see what I'm saying. And people feel like they got points to prove. Do you think, kind of? Do you think that the the, the music industry uh, might be targeting you know young women are coming up to be influenced by the things that you know female rappers are saying pertaining to you know se selling sex, selling violence, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that? Because like I said earlier, you know when when the hot boys and all them got put on, right? It motivated us to in order for us to get on and talk about this real shit rapping, you got to live it out. You can't be talking about no fantasy shit that, you know, you acting like you're doing, but you're not doing it. That ultimately, that that whole that that whole hot boy, you know, shit like that, a lot of my niggas have been killed from that. A lot of niggas have been, you know, put in jail from it, trying to have this aura, either trying to rap or try to identify with, you know, these rappers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you see it that much more now today with women yep. getting BBLs and becoming yep. strippers but, and saying, hey, shit, it, I'll fuck you if you're going to give me some money, you prostitution and all of these things. And these are a lot of the things that's, you know, and more so now with violence and shit like yeah. that being in females, raps being, you know. It's like put, women been making men pockets hurt. You yeah. hear me? But it's like, is, now we got 20, you got 20,000 females in the crowd screen. Make them pockets yeah. hurt. It's like, like man, uh, this, I, me personally, music ain't never influenced me to do anything. Like, oh, you mama. get what I'm saying? Like, the first female rapper that I ever heard was Lil' Kim. Mm -hmm. The first rap that I ever heard when she heard, when she was like, 
the the raps on the movie. Your whole world changed when you heard me rap. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, niggas bet to grab a. You feel me? That mm -hmm. was the first female rapper that I ever heard. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Then Lil Wayne, that was my favorite rapper. So mm -hmm. it is just like they never made me. Oh, Lil Wayne mm -hmm. said he did this. Let me go do this. Yeah, well, everything yeah. I rap about came from my own Yo, experiences internal, yeah. growing yeah. up. Like exactly. I didn't even know I knew how to rap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We just in the studio playing around, and then I'm like, we, I'm actually kind of good at this. Like, oh, okay, let me yeah. keep going. You, I, see, because the thing, it's hard to have a conversation with you because you organic like the planet. You understand me? Uh -huh. We talking about the motherfuckers that. Influence. Yeah, see, I, I can't. Yeah, you I can't even speak on their yeah. behalf because you, 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 you. Hurt, and then it's not just like up. it's, it's like the way you was yeah. raised too. Like, yeah. like people, parents. Some people, parents make their kids be hoes. Like, or you might be yeah. out. A kid might run away and meet a nigga, and now the nigga got her hoeing, and now that's all she know. Like she didn't make so much money from hoeing. It's like, what else am I supposed to do now? I go go get a job. Right. And Thanks. I didn't, I can make this much money going to go fuck a trick. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? Got a so point. it's really do how your life is. Do do women manipulate men? <laughs> Period. Sometimes. Y'all like that? <laughs> so sometimes, yeah. They do. How? A woman can manipulate anything. How do how how do a woman uh, manipulate a man? It really depends Filters on the situation. On <laughs> <laughs> It really depends oh on the situation. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie to you. It really depends, like, uh -huh. on, on different type of situations. Yeah, because the goal, you know, the goal most of the, part, most of the time, you know, get that money from that guy. But see, now, for me, like, it's different because I was raised around family. Mm -hmm. Like, my auntie and uncle Mary, we always at their house. My granny and grandpa Mary, we always at their house. So, growing up, me, I always wanted a big family. Like, I want, like, at least five kids. Like, I want a big family to the point where when I'm older, everybody coming to my house for Christmas. Yeah, you want to be everybody granny Everybody coming eventually. to my house for Thanksgiving. Granny all Kayla. My, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then, all oh, this is my bloodline <laughs> running around. Yeah, I'm You know, like, a big family, family reunions, and that's yeah. how I grew up. Yeah. Like, you got a trip. When you in the projects, everybody around here is your family. Mm -hmm. So, when we had birthday parties and it's family versus just oh you going to this birthday party you don't know nobody but two people because you related to them two people mm -hmm. like you get what I'm yeah, saying it's yeah. like well, I, I want a big family so that's why you ain't out here manipulating men mm -mm, I, I want real love old mm -hmm. school love really mm -hmm. like I, I keep me a boyfriend oh really look how we got a boyfriend but when I'm doing me I think I know your boyfriend too I ain't gonna I know your nigga though but my first boyfriend <laughs> I was, like he I a was, real nigga though he yeah, a real reputable nigga I was like I was telling years. my partner I was telling my my good friend I said that nigga made a good decision <laughs> <laughs> but yeah he, we've been together for a good almost three years now really yeah yeah, so I, I like, like, I, I, like, like I think y'all gonna like, work because both of y'all kids and stuff. Like you know, we get his kids and you know stuff like that. So it'd be like little Kayla boy for the gangster. So y'all better not play with her, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna get your ass and he gonna get yeah, your I ass. They Bonnie and Clyde no, uh, out this motherfucker. I can't fucker. fuck with no no square. You can't mess with a square. Mm -mm. Why? Why not? Because I feel like I would just run all over him. Like I need a nigga to, that'll tell me about myself. Like like a nigga that'll cuss me out every now and then and put me in my place. Like you get what I'm saying? I can't have no nigga that I'm telling them what to do all the time. But I'm what about if he shit all the time? But what about if he loved you and treated you better than that that hood nigga? Um, he. I we was just me and my cousin was just talking about this. I was young. I was probably like seventeen, and a nigga bought me some flowers. Yeah, okay. I was so fucking mad. Like, why the fuck would he buy me some flowers? But I didn't like. Now my nigga send me flowers. Like the other, like probably like two, three weeks ago, uh -huh. he been having hella card parts come to the house. So mm -hmm. one day he's like, "Babe, I got a package," and mm -hmm. I go downstairs. It's flowers, edible uh -huh. arrangement. And that shit, like, and you appreciated it made that. me so fucking happy. Like, okay. But why did why you didn't appreciate it coming from the other guy? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just wasn't feeling too. him. Like, I wasn't feeling that. Was he a good guy? He was. He was. He had a he job, a nine to five. Like, <laughs> and he was feeling. He wanted to talk to me, basically. Yeah. And so he came one day, and he like. So had when some you flowers. see the rose, it's like this nigga a bitch. I'm like this, this nigga, nigga corny sucker. as fuck. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! So everybody that's watching this episode right now, why? That's why you. <laughs> 
see Bay niggas so traumatized and, mi- and militant and yeah. feel like we don't want to do certain no. things for but women. Because when you try to be nice, yeah. these squash nigga yeah. bought me flowers. No, no, but now, <laughs> now my nigga buy me flowers often. Yeah. And that makes me happy. But, but he appreciate, but he yeah. appreciate it because you know he wouldn't why. do it for... Well, yeah, why Why do you appreciate it? From Because I'm a square ass nigga. No, not even that. It's just, we in a relationship. <laughs> like, it's, here? Oh, it's no, a, that was a different episode. It's a, it's a yeah. difference, like, you know, being a square ass nigga, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't imagine. Being a square ass nigga giving flowers compared to a nigga being like, you know, a nigga on some shit, you know what I mean? It's like, I, that, oh, you, you, know, really, you like you getting really flowers from niggas, not African Americans. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. Like, coming from, if, if you ain't came from the same background that I came from, I can't exactly, see myself. Exactly, but that's what, with I, that's what I, that's Damn, what I, like, really? that's why I only that's date true. black men because I, sure, I, if you don't have four black you. grandparents, but sure. I, can't, I can't fuck with you because you you can't, you ain't on the type of time that you, y'all, your family, I can't even go to your family house for no soul food. Fast. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, my mama. So I can't, I only date black men and only date black men that come from where I come from. Let's give a round of applause for that. <laughs> oh, mamas. There's a difference between African American and niggas. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> that was African American that bought you them flowers. You yeah. like this bunk ass nigga. No, but he was mixed. See? He was mixed, but, but he, he was, was mixed, a square. He was African American and some yeah, other I shit. I forgot what he was mixed the with. Other, but even then, he was a square. He had like a nine to five. Like I don't know. It was so just, if I he have a nine, to, if that. a guy have a nine to five, do that make him a square? No, because I know some hood niggas that's changing their life around. Like yeah, you feel so, me? Like sure. I know yeah. what's the call to them? They just went yep. in to go be firefighters. Yep. Like mm-hmm. you feel me? Like. Like we our hood niggas working at the wreck with us. Like yeah. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I, so, well, you know how many hood niggas work at Tesla? Yeah. yeah. So it them don't niggas that, at that I'm, Tesla warehouse to murder I don't your know ass. How they explain like what makes <laughs> a they, nigga a square. From, all them all them niggas that be dropping off Amazon packages yeah. and kill your like, ass. Like I don't know. They how, changing their life. Don't get it. Like, I don't know how to identify what makes a nigga a square to me, but it's like you just know. Like oh, yeah, he's a square. Like yeah, it's a certain you swag. Know. You got like I can't even have a conversation with you for real, for real. Like and really talk about shit because you don't even understand where I'm coming from. And, and you know what? I think I think we might Could be you date missing. a bus driver? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you got that from, though. <laughs> you see I'm clickbaiting right now, right? <laughs> I'm trolling your ass. I'm on your ass. But, uh, but yeah. Why not? Why you, why, why you couldn't date a uh, bus driver? I don't know. I just don't see myself dating a bus driver. You know what's crazy? <laughs> why? Head. Like, I don't know. I what about if he's a it? great guy? He stand on ten toes. He got his nest dropped. You, little Kayla, that's my woman. I do anything for. Her. I respect her and I love her. I but mean, he I, I can't. I can't call it because it's a different lifestyle. you know. Yeah, it is. Look, but you know what? What's funny if is if he like, was a hood nigga, like if my nigga was to go drive buses. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, that's different. Exactly. But so. me just <laughs> meeting a nigga that's already a bus driver and he's trying to pursue me and this and this and that, like. Just, he got to be I a hood nigga that's driving the bus. Because not yes. even that, I make a lot of money now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like... Let me hold a hundred. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, but right, a nigga sure. can't do nothing for me that I can't do myself. So all the purses and shit my nigga buy me, I can go do that myself. Fact. It just is like, oh, yeah, my nigga buy me whatever it I gotta, want. It got to be more But what more about shit. if he got a good life and he could provide... Not a good life, but like, say if he... A bus driver, and you know he working nine to five and all that, but he could afford all those things. Say, if, say if his mama uh uh passed down a house to him type but it of shit. You a, don't say it, it so ain't even about even materialistic pay. things with me though. Mm-hmm. It's about like I said, like what type of background do you come from? So you, like, can I go to your family house and be myself? So, you, so, so, or different do I things. have to turn on the switch when I go? Around your people, Fact. like you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it, it's all about that with me. So if you if you you could like you know if you come from the shit or whatever, and then you know on your way out of the shit end up getting that bus driver job, then it's like okay, I could identify exactly. with you because you come from the yeah. shit. He because gotta be fighting gotta, demons on that bus. No, nah, we got. He gotta of, be like, man, I'm telling y'all, y'all better sit y'all ass down because I'm really not a bus driver. We got a lot of niggas <laughs> from, from the hood. I'm driving this bus, but I'm not a bus we driver. Got a lot, we got a lot of motherfuckers from Mom, the hood who drive, who drive the bus who come from from the shit. Yeah. And I remember my daddy used to drive the bus, right? And yeah. when I was a kid, right, having a city job, you know, put your name on the map, yeah. and that's getting a city my job. My auntie used to drive the bus for AC all day. 
that was AC big. Transit, you nigga, got good benefits, pop your ass. Good benefits, making a hundred thousand, eighty thousand dollars a year was mm-hmm. big if you was on some nine to five, you know, job type shit, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, coming from the hood like now, we do see a lot of you know our peers and motherfuckers having jobs now, which is cool. And we're have, I'm starting to see them younger getting jobs. You know, 25, 26. You know I mean, it's nothing wrong to, with having a job. Yeah, Don't get me ain't. wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, it it's ain't. nothing wrong with yeah, having a job. Yeah, you just got to be a hood nigga Like, I didn't work at the airport <laughs> hell shit. Only reason why Ooh, I stopped working is because airport. people started noticing me, like, coming and like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, You know what I'm sure. saying? I just, I, I like. That's, that's yeah. another announcement I got to tell the people. If a nigga work at the airport, he's dangerous, too. Yeah. It's a lot of hood sure. niggas that work at the airport. So if a nigga be like, he work at the airport, that don't mean he is square. He has slapped the shit out of your ass. No, for real. And he mama. might be sliding those packs. Oh my mother! He might be the plug. Or stealing them. <laughs> <laughs> they no stealing mama. shit. Yeah. That's half the reason why they getting them. Like, oh. Yeah, oh. they making they everything hey, look, that comes through. might be your nigga cool. too. You know what I mean? Because he know you sent that package out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so more of the stories that if you you got a job don't mean you a square yeah, it for don't, sure. Like a square it's like it's different. Like I don't know like you raised in the suburbs, you went Damn, to school with yeah. the white people yeah. like I can't date one of them. I understand. I understand. Yeah. I understand cuz I I that's crazy that we having this conversation cuz literally one of the previous episodes uh I don't know how I'm gonna place this shit but oh, we didn't had this conversation here before on the Cali kickback and I was talking uh to a young lady about the difference between niggas and African Americans and she was saying a guy that I thought was a squirt. I don't know the guy but what I'm saying is the thing she was saying the guy was doing I'm like, only a square nigga do that. You feel me? And a, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, nah. And I was like, nah, ain't no nigga gonna do that. So I see what you're saying. Like, if a nigga gonna be vulnerable and open up and be a good guy to a woman, it gotta be like his, feel me, like, exactly. soul tie type situation. Like, ain't gonna be like, no, because I wanna fuck and I wanna maintain this relationship. I got to maintain this relationship and I got to keep her happy so I'm doing this. Like, like nah, when nigga, me and my dude doing first started messing with it. each other, like, the shit that we talk about and shit now, like, mm-hmm. before we never talked about that, and be like, damn, why, why we never talk? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just come chill with you, boom, we... Little but, head. But we never, like, really had conversations to the point where, like, he had called me like, babe, why would we... And we actually talking, having a conversation. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? About real shit, about family shit. Like, Y'all he, fighting he demons telling together. me shit about his past now. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like, okay, now I get you. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? But before it was like, I don't really know who you. Yeah. I don't really know who you are. Because if I see you with a square, I'll be like, she's manipulating this nigga. <laughs> I see it. I said, oh, shit. That, but that I really can't even matched. do that because if I but genuinely you know don't what? like you, I can't even fuck with you because this is going to be all over my face. Like, I'm going to have an attitude. I ain't going to want you to touch me. We definitely not kissing. Like You so. couldn't fake it for the money? Like, mm-hmm. basically, like, say if a dude got hella money, you feel me? Mm-hmm. He, he, Unless he, like, Diddy or something. Yeah. Right, he gotta have that type of chicken. Yeah, where it's like, did you turn on your little oh my god voice and all that shit for the cheese? I feel you. I fuck with you. You keeping it lit. Mm-hmm. Just keeping yeah, it real. Right. Yeah, no, nah, that, that that's true. But like how you had said, like you said about the square nigga, it's like, oh yeah, you manipulating that nigga and shit like that. I mean, that was I. I, I deal with shit like that too Like not not necessarily like You know Dealing with bitches Or shit like that Or whatever it may be But dealing with like I got my white boyfriend You know Not boyfriend But my white boy nigga On yeah. some shit You know what I mean yeah. And he don't look like We identify at all But, but motherfuckers see, I wouldn't even mess no, but people, I can't see myself no, With no white man No no I'm talking about Why you like can't a, see yourself a friend, With a white man a, a friend that's a partner it's, That's a whole different conversation We gonna be here all day No but but listen What I'm saying So look You, you got You doing business With this white dude On some shit like that Right instantly People would think like, oh, she manipulating this 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 guy for something. Same with like me, if I got you know a business partner or whatever it may be, and he white and he wearing a suit, and I mean, motherfuckers like, oh yeah, he manipulating him or he getting some money from him or whatever it may be. It's like, hold on, why why just because I look the way I look and this person look the right. way that they look, you have to you know pinpoint us as in doing some type of criminal or manipulating type shit you know what I mean why can't I just be cool to this person and this person see a value in me mm-hmm. you know and, and like don't get me like wrong that. I didn't met some cool ass white people like at the airport and shit like and you would, you wouldn't even think they are that cool today nah like just flying oh, sitting yeah, yeah, next yeah, right. to a white person exactly. that's something they yeah, yeah, up yeah, a yeah, conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. you feel it's, me it's different from I, I truly understand what you're saying cause it's a difference between uh, building friendship building trust with different uh 
you know, cultures, different people, you know what I'm saying? Me, but like, it's one thing to be sleep with somebody and really be fighting demons with somebody. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, yeah, like, I can't. yeah, that's crucial. Like, nigga, you just really hella comfortable. You just locked in. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, okay, you really, you, you, you know. But it's you like, I from- can't date no white. Cause it's like, what if I go to your grandparents' house and they racist? Yep. And you bringing my black ass in yeah. here. And you and not they, African they American. Me you a nigga. And on some get out shit. <laughs> Like you, you know, know what I'm saying? Well, so you know, it's, it's just like if I can't be myself around your family and yeah, shit, yeah. I can't see myself. And you know what? Yeah. I, I, I think that that's kind of like you know a little fucked up too. And I say that to say this, right? And uh-huh. I'm like super fucked up that you said it because like my my dad, you know, chose to mess with a white woman, right? Mm-hmm. And my white mama ended up messing with a black dude, mm-hmm. and. And because they started, you know, they found love. They've been together for you know 38 years, mm-hmm. but. My my dad, black family, never accepted that he messed with a white woman. So mm. now us as like you know the the nephews, we never you know was like super invited. It was always uncomfortable. Yeah. And then when when my mom's side of the family always you know looked at it like, hold on, you messing with a black guy like type shit. You know what I mean? And now now that side of the family is just like uh. So like you know. I got a grandmother that I only seen like probably four times, five times ever in my life. I got cousins that I've probably only seen about three times, four times. And that's on the white side. On both sides. Really? Yes, on both sides. So those stigmas, like what she said, she can't see herself bringing home, you know, a white guy or, you know, something other than what your color is because it's going to be like, hold on, are you going to their house and they can't cook soul food? Yeah. You know what I mean? Your girl bring that bunk ass potato salad. (laughs) With raisins but, but, and but, shit. But, 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 but what, <laughs> what, what, what Kayla has said, though, like, she she liked that old love, right? Yeah. And I want to get back to that. And I mean, you know, mm-hmm. love is, you know, love is love. And I have grew up, you know, with the last name True Love. So yeah, I've always had this, stig- this thing about me where it's like, man, I got to find true love. Because if I, I got to give this last name away. Mm. And when that girl get that last name, she mm. going to feel like, damn, God really blessed me with True, True love. love. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just gonna be that so. It, it's it's kind of you know it's, it's deep. Yeah, it's P. Deep. I you hear you, man. man. Yeah, like, man. You know, but until then, yeah, you man. Know what we yeah, <laughs> make love sound P. You understand me? Because P is love. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know how to be in love, but I know how to do me too. Yeah, mm. and, and have always fun. remind you, nigga. Yeah. I know how to love your ass, and I know how to be me. Like, yeah. All I gotta do is go outside, mm. start replying to a few. That's why it's, that's like, why I always remind everybody. Everybody is one DM from losing a bitch. All it takes is one DM. Like, and yo, girl, go. Like I was just telling my manager, somebody. Uh, it was a post that my partner posted. She's like one of my OG partners, mm-hmm. like married and all the shit. And she posted like, um, uh, damn, what the post say? Be careful or be be my peace. You already not the man I really want. Ooh. And her caption was yeah. like, wait till you get married. It seemed like all the niggas of your dreams start coming okay. for you. Yeah, and that's why Erica, but I, Erica Badu made that song Next Lifetime. I guess she was I like, see I got you a next nigga. lifetime. In the next lifetime and not your for real. Ass. But it's like I would never leave my dude for another dude. It's like you ain't gonna take care of me like he take care of me. Like my man take good care of me. You know what, what about if your man run out of chicken or whatever something happens? But it ain't about ain't materialistic chicken. stuff with me, so well, I'm, we, we gonna get it back. Chicken, not materials. Mm. I, I yeah, we ain't I, go back to the malls. Yeah. I, not even, them no, no, not no, even no, that because I didn't lost it, it all and went and got it back before. Oh, like mama. every time I went to jail, I lost everything. I'm talking about car, apartments, just just hell of shit that I didn't took losses on. Yeah. Money, bailing myself out, paying for lawyers. I didn't have to spend all my money. Like I gotta beat this case. That's why. I, like, that's why. Niggas like love that. hood bitches for sure. So it's you can, like you we can, can, we can and go bounce get it back, back. With hood bitch. and it's like now I'm in a, t- a position where so I've been my nigga could go invest in some merch and boom, you invest in that merch, you spend ten, you make thirty. Yeah. Just cause my fans is super crazy about me, they go buy that shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like now it's to the point I have outlets to where everybody around me can make a little bit of money. That's Speak, gang. Speaking of clothing, y'all go on two X. 
dot crazy mm-hmm. dot shop and buy my son's sweater, man. I told him I'll go oh, ahead. Okay, and that go I mean, crazy. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. For sure, man. For sure. Look, for sure. Shorty, man. Shout out to my son, man. Hey, man. Thing, y'all baby. and y'all go uh, check out uh, since we promote merch <laughs> too, man. Y'all go check out do too much ent yesterday yeah. com, man. We got I just dropped some San Oakland hoodies yesterday yeah. me because we sharing the words at this point. Yeah. The, the Warriors went from Oakland to San Francisco. I know the city said they had it first, but whatever. Yeah. We yeah, sharing yeah. the Warriors. Yeah, we sharing. So San. Oakland is the Bay Bridge. I mean, long as we sharing that water. Yeah. From, long as from niggas that ain't rooting for Lakers and all that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Them niggas. I'll San get, Oakland Warriors. You understand me? San Francisco and Oakland, we sharing the Warriors, man. So go get them San Oakland hoodies. You understand me? If you supporting the, this movement with uh with the Bay Area, you understand yeah, me? You playing we, shit. We Little Kayla, what you got to tell them before you wrap it up, man? Eh? Uh. If you don't know, now you know. Mm. Pure. Lil' Kayla, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Stop playing. Uh, That's how you know you go crazy when niggas be yeah. fans of you. <laughs> you got niggas. Lil' Kayla, what's up? Nah, it'd yeah. be surprising for sure. But you got grown ass street niggas. It'd be hard Talking about 11 11. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it definitely is heartwarming. Oh, and it made me feel more comfortable. Dreadhead niggas with no like, okay. teeth. <laughs> make them pockets hurt. I got the city. <laughs> hey, look, they be saying it for, at the whole time, like, nigga, not mine, though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know what? One of the first things my nigga told me, he said, you can't make my pockets hurt because I got hella that shit. Oh, that's some like, boy shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, you can, he, you can still get you it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Start pointing at the Royce yeah. Ray trucks. I'm he on got this one, though. I yeah. know that, but I'm saying you can keep asking for shit. Yeah, you don't right. have to stop it eventually. Yeah. Like, all right. Yeah, like, hold on. All right. Like, like I need this private jet. And then he's like, all right, you loaded, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can get on Delta first class. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> oh, shit. But that's some player shit to say, though. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, shout out to my player partner, man. Yeah, I don't even want to know. I don't even want people to know. I know you niggas, man. <laughs> You talking about nigga? You politicking like nigga? I love everybody. Oh, no, for real. Yeah, that's me too. I'm I'm, I'm a peaceful person. Yeah, you know? we love everybody. Black power. Yeah, you yeah. understand me? I'm on my oh. Jamaican shit. One love. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? This what this about, man. You understand me? I know you been on a media run. Everybody been interviewing you, asking these same ass questions. You got to fight hey, this these This was demons. a good one, though. You I, I enjoyed me? this one. It's the Cali kickback, man. Mm-hmm. We just come pop shit. You understand me? When we pop it, we don't stop it. Shout out my nigga, <laughs> Mr. Fab. <laughs> I got that one from Fab. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> when we pop it, we don't stop it, man. Mm-mm. You know? So, yeah, this Thug Mansion. You understand me? So, y'all tap in, man. Uh, keep supporting the show, man. Uh, subscribe to the channel, man. To the YouTube, shout out 85 Media, man. We out here, we mobbing, man. From the beta to LA to the A. You understand me? Yeah, yes, Lord. Cali, kickback. We gone. Come on, man.